Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, and today we're here with your online lesson 2, which is going to be Unit 5, Lesson 3, called 20th Century Heroes, in which we are going to talk about three famous people from the 20th century, and they are called Muhammad Ali, Helen Keller, and Charlie Chaplin. Okay, so I've uh, posted links to documents uh, telling you exactly which activities you have to do, and this video is just going to help you a little bit with them. So we are starting here on page 88 uh, with task A. This is your first task. So what you have here is six sentences describing a hero. So which of the following definitions do you think best describes a hero? So you should choose one of these sentences, or you can combine um, one or two or three sentences, or you can come up with your own definition of a hero, and you should write that, what you chose, in Teams as reply to my Lesson 2 post. So this is the first activity that you have to uh, get back to me. Okay, then we are continuing with task B. The question is, have you ever heard of Muhammad Ali, Helen Keller, or Charlie Chaplin? And what do you know about their lives? And to match the following sentences. So you can either try to match the sentences uh, alone without any help and then listen here to track uh, 43 and check your guesses. Or you can make it just listening practice where you just push the button to listen and then uh, you make pairs. Okay, so this is going to be task B. Then we are continuing to your next exercise, your next activity, which is here reading in task C. So as it also says uh, in your document, in your instructions on what to do, you should now listen again to the text and this time read them silently okay read all the th three texts just read them silently for yourself and then when you finish with that try to read them out loud okay so try to read them you can read them once twice just practice reading a little bit because we are not basically speaking here in online classes we are mostly just listening and writing to something so read read the text listen to them as many times as you can you all have the cds you can also uh, get this digital version of the book so try to speak as much as you can okay when you finish with reading you will open the document with the new words that I give you, okay? And uh, I also have them here in yellow. So I'm going to go through them. So what new words uh, will we have here? Okay, so the first one is charity. Charity is something, uh, for example, money that you give to poor people, something like that. Uh, so we call it basically So when you say give a lot of money to charity, it means dati puno novca u dobrotvorne svrhe. Okay, then uh, the second thing that we have uh, for Muhammad Ali was that he was the world heavyweight boxing champion. So now in boxing, you have different categories and the most difficult one is heavyweight so in Croatian we call it teška kategorija uh, next we have to make a comeback so usually when you are famous or something uh, you want to make a little bit break of uh, what, what it is that you do and then after a while after maybe a year or two you make a comeback it just basically means vratiti se nekam vratiti se na scenu vratiti se u javnost and so on Okay, next expression that I have here in yellow is uh, lit the flame. Lit is the past simple form of the verb light. So the expression will be light the flame. It means a paliti plamen. You know, it, it's all about the Olympic flame, which is uh, being lit usually by someone who is very famous, someone who is very important sports uh, and that's it uh, okay then to tremble trembling uh, just basically means uh, shaking tremble means stress uh, then we have parkinson's disease uh, i don't know if you've heard of parkinson's disease it just means parkinson of a bolus. it's a neurological disease uh, where your whole body is basically shaking um, the word appealing Appealing means attractive, privlačno, uh, in other words. Okay, so let's continue with Helen Keller. Uh, the first word that we have is an educator, 
For example, I am an educator. Is somebody who deals in education. It just means obrazovni radnik. Uh, then we have here, uh, we know that high fever left her deaf, blind, and mute. Uh, so we already know the word blind, which means slip, deaf. It means when you can't hear anything, gluch, and mute, it means when you can't speak, njem. Okay, uh, to overcome disabilities means prevladati invalidnost, okay? So to do something in spite of uh, difficulties, so this is it. Uh, to graduate from college, it means diplomirati, završiti nekakvu školu, and when we say that she graduated with honors, it means diplomirala je sa počastima. Okay, she was a lecturer. A lecturer is someone who gives lectures. It means predavač. And a spokesperson. A spokesperson is somebody who speaks for somebody else. Dakle, glasnogovornik. The underprivileged people are the people who have no privileges. Usually poor people, people who don't have good education. So we call them neprivilegirani. Usually siromašni uh, ljudi. Uh, obstacles. Is something that you have to overcome, something that you have to get over, obstacles or difficulty, it means prepreka, and finally to achieve something means postići nešto. Then we have Charlie Chaplin. So he was the son of poor entertainers. An entertainer is somebody who entertains us, okay? So it's usually an actor, singer, somebody who is uh, giving us some fun. Uh, so zabavljač, okay? Uh, to perform on stage, this is what actors do. It means nastupati na pozornici. Uh, the character that he played, this character in the picture here, is called the little tramp. In Croatian, we would basically say mala skitnica. Uh, I think you already know what is a mustache, but I've put it here because it's a it's a weird word to spell. It means brkovi, a bowler hat. It's that little hat that he wears. Uh, in Croatian, we call it polucilindar. And finally, a cane is something you, you, that you use when you can't walk properly. properly. It's a uh, stop. Uh, well, Charlie Chaplin was a person who had lots of personal scandals, uh, had... Uh, well, political, um, I don't know, political views, which weren't very popular in the USA back then. So they told him to just get out of the USA and never come back. Uh, so basically, he was prohibited to come back to the United States. So to, to be prohibited, prohibited, prohibit, zabraniti. Okay, uh, then we get to this Academy Award. Uh, Academy Award is the official name of the Oscar. So Academy Award would be uh, Nagrada Američke Akademije Filmske Umjetnosti, but we all, all know it as the Oscar. The Oscar is actually the name for that little statue that they uh, get. Now, to be knighted, to become a knight, is when you kneel before a king or a queen and they say, rise up a knight. Uh, so it means piti proglašen vitezom. Uh, to settle somewhere just means nastaniti se. And finally, the last word that we have is the word bizarre. Bizarre just means weird. Okay, something weird, something strange. And you have to agree that this is weird, that his body was stolen from its grave. Okay, uh, so this is basically it about the texts. Uh, so you can answer the questions in exercise D, but I've made it more fun for you. Uh, so you uh, have uh, your uh, third task to come uh, to get back to me. And this is the Kahoot. You have to play the Kahoot quiz, 20th Century Heroes, that I will also post in Teams. And please, when you play Kahoot, write your full name, okay? Write your name and your last name. Don't write your nickname or something, okay? Because I need your name so that I can check if you did the exercise that I gave you. Okay, so uh, you can also do workbook exercises on page 84 to practice a little bit. So all of them. So I think we have four exercises in the workbook. So it's exercise A, B, C, and D on page 84. And I've also uh, given you links to three videos, which you don't have to watch, but you can if you want to. Uh, and of course, one is about Muhammad Ali, the second about uh, Helen Keller, and the third about Charlie Chaplin. And that's it for lesson two. Uh, and I'll see you again with lesson three.